Moving on now, a world-leading CSIRO radio telescope has conducted its first survey of the entire southern sky in record speed, creating a new atlas of the universe. Joining us now is Dr Douglas Bock. He's the director of CSIRO Astronomy and Space Science. Douglas, appreciate your time. This is a huge breakthrough, isn't it? Did we actually know that, I think it's three million galaxies that uh, you've mapped, did we know they were definitely out there before this discovery? And, and what does it tell us more broadly about the scale of how many other galaxies could actually exist? So it's certainly really exciting. We've found three million galaxies, two million of them we knew before. We've done it with a brand new radio telescope operated by a CSIRO called ASCAP. But these three million galaxies, one million new ones, are just a small number of something like a trillion galaxies that we think uh, exist out there in the universe. Now, Douglas, all these galaxies you're talking about, they're billions of light years away, aren't they? So essentially what you're looking at is, is a window into the past. Well, it's amazing to think about the light from some of these distant galaxies. They, those galaxies are up to 10 or more billion light years away. And what that means is that the, the radio signals from those galaxies picked up by our radio telescope uh, have taken 10 billion years to get here. That's most of the age of the universe. So we're seeing those galaxies as they looked at the very beginning of the universe. And so does this discovery tell you a lot more about how these galaxies may have evolved or the origin of those very first stars? Well, what we're doing here is creating like a Google, a Google map of the whole sky. So we're, we're, we're surveying the sky, we're finding millions of galaxies, and then we go on to use those galaxies to study them more with, a, with many other telescopes. And this is just the beginning for us, because with this telescope over the coming years, we'll discover 30, 40, 50 million new galaxies. And with those discoveries, and combining them with the, the data from other telescopes that we use, we'll learn about how galaxies form and evolve, and we'll learn about how stars form, and we'll end up understanding more about our own place here and how we came to be here in our galaxy, the Milky Way. And could it also give us more of an insight about black holes? I know there's so much focus on that and, and interest in black forms about how they work and how they were formed. Is it likely that we might learn more on that front? Black holes are really exciting and we do see black holes in this survey at the centre. Well, we know they're at the centre of many of the galaxies that we've found. And these are massive black holes. They might be the, the weight of a, or mass of a thousand, a million, a billion stars. And in those, uh, the centres of those galaxies, the black holes draw in amazing amount of materials and energy and, and they blast out radio waves. And that's actually how we see those galaxies in, in many cases from the, from the emission from those black holes. And those radio waves you're talking about, they're then turned into to images. Is that how uh, that works? So this is a radio telescope. So it's detecting the radio emission in, in your mobile telephone band or your FM band from these telescopes. And it works because each of our uh, 36 antennas, each of our 36 dishes, has an amazing new camera on it, a, a multi-pixel radio camera. We used to just have single pixels. And by combining those multi-pixel radio cameras with hundreds of pixels with those 36 antennas, we can map the sky incredibly quickly, uh, just much faster than we ever could before. It does boggle the mind, Douglas. What's next? What's the next big project that you're working on for the Super Telescope? Well, this project uh, is actually something we're using to test and tune this telescope uh, so that we can launch a whole new series of surveys over the next 10 years. And one of those will be uh, one that discovers many more galaxies. Another one will look at things we haven't found before. And that's what's so exciting about science, because when we, when we build a telescope, we, when we do an experiment, we, we look for the things we think we know about, but quite often we discover so many other really amazing things that we weren't even looking for. And so we're all really excited to see what comes next from this telescope.